what what about what do you say to the teenager that has stress i don't even remember that word when i was in high school <laughs> David Morton, I'm 17 years old, about to be 18. My name is Vanessa Vigier and I'm 17 years old. Okay, so my favorite actress is Audrey Hepburn, probably. And my favorite actor, it's a good question. Okay, Patrick Dempsey. Oh, band artists like that. Uh, Eminem, Logic, uh, Packy, and I also like the classics like ACDC, Metallica, Boston, and uh, Led Zeppelin. Um, I really like being part of leadership at my school and getting involved a lot, and I also nanny three girls outside of school, and I really love doing that. Um, I play volleyball because I've just been playing it since 7th grade and I love it, and it's pretty much my Hobby. A couple of my hobbies would be like video gaming, sports, and now be the wrestling season. I loved high school. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I played basketball, believe it or not. I was on the golf team. I played tennis, and um, I was lucky enough to be the student council president. Well, mine was a long, long time ago. You know, I'm the grandpa here, you know, so. Um, Yes, I remember I had a lot of fun. I was uh, played a lot of sports. And I was president of our student council, and uh, so uh, I was in Feds Men's. I was in that. I was did a lot of stuff. So it was pretty fun. Yeah, it was fun. And I liked the Beach Boys. I liked to dance. So I liked the Beach Boys. I liked uh, rock and roll. I liked a little opera. Uh, I'm pretty diversified with my music. I like a lot of things. Boogie Woogie, I like that. That's old. That's older before me even. And, um, but I guess my mother convinced me that was good music and it stuck with me. An average Saturday for me is basically just full of uh, usually homework and setting up my fantasy teams for fantasy hockey and football. An average Saturday for me, I wake up around 10 and then I try and get up at 10 and then I'm on my phone until like 12 and then I get up and I try to do my homework and then that doesn't really work so then I watch Netflix for the rest of the day. But I have good intentions to do my homework. Oh my god, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't even remember but it didn't have a lot to do with studying. High school is more stressful than ever. Students surveyed by UCLA reported often feeling overwhelmed. The survey's author says teenagers face greater pressure to succeed academically now and have less time for fun. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, probably like an 11.5, <laughs> a lot because of school mostly and like especially the competitive nature of our school, so it's okay though. <laughs> Number scale? Yeah. Um, I'd say like an 8. Generally speaking, my stress level would be about like a, like a seven. I say it's due to school for sure. Colleges definitely because I don't know if I'm gonna get in or like where I'm gonna get in or where I'm going, so it's a lot. Plus volleyball, it can be stressful too with like coaches, players, parents. So 
11. <laughs> My stress level is an 11. Why? <laughs> um, because I find myself really overwhelmed. I get really anxious really fast and um, I have a lot of work to do and I don't handle it very well. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably say about like a 7 with all like, you know, you got the test this day, a whole bunch of homework this day, and you're all trying to balance it all with uh, your social and your sports and making sure you gain good grades. So like, it could be, some days could be fairly stressful and other days relatively peaceful. Okay, how do you feel about getting older? Um, I like getting older, and I also don't like getting older because there's more responsibilities, but I also like I hate myself. I don't know what I like or how I feel about getting older. I like it. I half like it. I half love it. I am excited about what I'm going to do in my life, like when I'm going to find out what I really am meant to do, but also that makes me very nervous because like, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't want to fail, <laughs> especially through all like that I've tried so far. The word future for me would bring um, up like, uh, um, like you know, college, become being an engineer because I want to go into mechanical engineering. So future, it's still kind of stressful, but I really associate it with like being successful. I'd say my emotion for the future would be kind of scared because I don't really know what's going to happen next, and so I'm kind of just wondering constantly, worrying what's if I do this, what's gonna happen, or this and that, like you don't, you have no idea what's gonna happen in the future. My favorite part about being the age that I am right now, I like having the freedom to try new things and find what I, find out what I really like. Probably the age I, my favorite part about being the age I am is that, that I'm young, I'm full of energy, and like if I set out to do something on a day, I could probably do, get it done. And also, it's just the amount of free time I have. <laughs> I think my favorite part about being the age that I am, which is 17, is I feel like you're just trying to find your way around, like trying to figure out where you belong, who you belong with, who your friends are, what kind of people you need to surround yourself with. It's kind of that in-between stage from being a child and like being an adult, because soon you're going to be going off and being by yourself. So I really like this is like a transition stage. I think that past generations think that um, definitely that we're more stressed than they were ever at our age and sometimes I don't think they really understand why um, there's a lot of people that no I'm not gonna say older generations I think really believe in like what we can do and like what we're gonna accomplish in our lives but then the other half is more like weary it's totally different yeah, I think it's totally different. It's way more stressful now, I think, than it was. Academics were important, but it wasn't nearly as important as it seems to be, especially here at West Bloomfield. So it might be a difference in just the high schools that I came, you know, that I grew up with. I'd say that teens now have a lot harder time with stress than parents our age because I feel like now with social media, there's a lot of pressure with what we have, we have to watch, what we have to say, and like every single thing we do is monitored. Definitely a difference. I have grandkids your age or younger and, uh, and older. Um, I think the news today looks for all bad stuff. They don't advertise enough good stuff. And there's, if something happens in California that's bad, they tell us here, we don't need to know all of that. But we, we get blasted for that and then you got the emails and stuff that um, can hurt people. It was bad enough back then, you hurt people, there was bullies, and you would hurt them. But today, they build all this stuff up. And I think because of that, it's more prevalent than it was then. Um, so I'm not one that is in favor of that, although I'm smart enough to know that technology, that you as young ones have to have that. And that's very important. It's a difficult question because I enjoyed when I was a teenager and I guess uh, I don't need to go back so um, I'm going to let you guys 
take care of the future and maybe some of you people that are going to be doctors will take care of me when you get old. For me, I feel the most important things in life are family and if you don't necessarily have a good support family, I feel just people who support you, who believe in you and who want the best for you. I feel it's very important to have someone to come home to be like, oh, this is my home. It doesn't have to necessarily be by blood, but just people who you just you rely on for that kind of love and support. Just friends and uh, family. Definitely good friends and health and being true to who you are. Um, what was the question again? I'm sorry. Oh, okay.